Joffrey, Renly, Rob Stark, we're all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Citadel for the Rise of House Grand. So here we are, we now have most of the Grand Lands under our control. We still have this small area that the Darklings are just holding on to. We don't have any reason that we can go to war with them at the moment, unfortunately. So we can't expand in that and get that last bit of land which is just breaking up our nice pink colour. We can't really declare war on anyone here to the north either in the riverlands which is disappointing as that was the next place that we wanted to go we are trying to get a claim on the chittering brook so hopefully we'll get that soon so there's not really a lot that we can do war wise we can declare war on the stormlands which would be interesting we could actually invade them and they're very weak at the moment and they're also defending against ah, okay an invasion of the stormlands so we could try and sweep in there and take it before some Andal does. I think I may do that. Because that could be worrying if a stronger Andal Lord takes it. Then we're not going to be able to have a claim on it. So I think we will declare war on the Stormlands. And it, uh, Oh, we actually can't declare war on him. Is he now an Andal? Ah, he's converted to the Seven. He's no longer of the Old God. So we can't do that either then. So... We're going to have to leave that and leave them to their own fate. The Reach are 7 as well, I believe. So we can't do yeah, anything about that. What about the West? The West are still of the old gods, but we've not got anywhere near enough men to destroy that army of nearly 40,000 men. So we're just going to have to let things tick over and wait for our claims to develop on the lands that we want. Where We'll have a little look around of the kingdom while we wait. We've got uh, Fawn Hill now, the... Um, seat of house greyheart i've changed it to a blue i've remembered this time i do apologize how long it's took me to do that and i've named uh changed the name to fawn hill for you as well as requested uh your grace i write on behalf of the bank to express my consternation at the, of the actions of your bannerman lord brindon blood oak they have failed to pay the due interest on a loan uh i'll pay it on their behalf it's only seven gold uh, so yeah, we've changed that and then we've also changed the name for House Striker, who it was the Antlers, it is now Strikestone, so that's another one changed. And yeah, if anyone else wants to change the names of their lands, please just let me know and I'll change them for you. A daughter was born to King Stitch of the Grandlands and Queen uh, Elena of, of the Grandlands named Rianne. No, I don't like that name, so we'll look for something a little bit different, see what we can get. Uh... Hmm, Alison, Alera, Lollis, definitely not. Uh, wow, there's some strange names here, isn't there? Um, Rosalind, why not? Like in um, the Knights of the North, we'll go with Rosalind. So that's two daughters and a son now for us. Your Grace, I write to express my consternation at the fact Sir Damien Morgrain enjoys command of your armies. No, he's doing a fine job. We'll keep our commanders as they are. Thank you. Uh, what quality of education would you like to purchase for your courtier, Marcella? Marcella. Um, wow, she's got pretty decent intrigue. We can get her in the intrigue focus. Let's spend highly because we've got them on M. We'll see how she turns out. Harmony's keep. Chris still only has the one child. He asked me to check, but yep, one child still who is quick and attractive and willful. So that could be ambitious, brave, authoritative, or stubborn. So that's quite interesting. Okay, so does that say that Lucian has refused to let King Lucifer go? Hoarding all his prisoners as usual. Okay, we've got a big split going on here in the Gold Road. What's going on there? Um. Ah, they're trying to capture the God's Eye. Okay, interesting. Unfortunately, we can't get involved with that. We're just going to have to let things flow and forward along while we... Uh, Wait for our claims and wait for other things to kick into place. Not a lot we can do, unfortunately, which is very frustrating as I want to start expanding. Your Grace, I'm pleased to report the majority of the population in Atterdale has been converted to the Faith of the Seven. Okay. Yeah, and that's going to upset people. I didn't even ask people to convert them, so that's quite annoying. Um, have we got any minor titles that we can give away? I don't think we have, have we? No, not really. There's not a lot we can do. It's quite frustrating. Not much we can do at all. Seek treatment for our illness. Yeah, we'll do that. Why not? Is that for our gonorrhea? Yep, lovely. Uh, there's not a lot else we can do for now. 
Court physician Jack has come to see you and offers treatment for your illness. He explains that there are several different types of treatment he can offer. As long as you know what you're doing. Which I hope you will. He's got very good traits, so hopefully we'll be okay. Sir Jack came to your chambers and offered you a drought, which was yellow in colour. He told you to pinch your nose and you drank it. When the tepid liquid passed your lips, you almost immediately spat it out again. You demanded to know the content, and he revealed that it was fresh urine from a pregnant sow. But it has made us feel better. So it was a successful treatment. But that is a bit gross, isn't it? Oh, this is frustrating. How much longer is it going to take to get that claim? So I just want to get rid of these nasty little colours that are just hanging around in our land. That are in the way. So we can get that full pink. And then hopefully start expanding. Okay, more people have converted to the favour of the Seven. That's upsetting people. What is the religion like around? Okay, so we've got old gods all around the Duskin and Rosby land still. As well as up in the Whispers. Most of it is Faith of the Seven, so that's interesting. See what sort of uh, effect that's going to have. Okay, diplomatic relations. Most people in our lands like us, so that's good. All different cultures. Wow, lots of different colours there. Economy. A great economy in Grandport, which is awesome, just like we wanted. We've got any risks of revolt. Yes, we have got a massive risk of revolt in Rosbev, which is not good. That's quite worrying. We do need to look look out for that. Does that mean will we have any dangerous factions? Independence. Uh, okay, let's have a look at some of these then. Perfect. So we have got a couple of dangerous factions. Dispose King Stitch, Lord Danies the Cruel. Overthrow the monarchy of Grandport, Sir Max of Camelot. Okay, that's not very nice, is it, Max? And then Lucian is a liege loyalist and then independence dire den right well again let's send our send our spy there to go scheme and try and get dire den and house uh is it house brune yep try and get them a bit more on side considering they're not very happy uh we've got another idle council meant but uh just improve defenses of grandport for now good sir Whilst we wait for this claim, which is taking forever to gain. We're going to have to speed through and wait for that claim. There's not a lot we can do, like I said, until then. Your Grace, I write to express my contribution of the fact that Sir Darian Morgrain enjoys command of your army. Not no one likes Morgrain for some reason, and I don't understand why. Everyone's really got it in for him. I don't care about dragons. I'm not interested in dragons in the slightest. We just want to get our claim. Wow, 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 wow. The lands of... Butterwell has gone to the rock, which is worrying. That's going to make them a lot stronger now. We obviously can declare war on him. Invasion of the God's Eye. Ooh, so we could go for that. We could go for an invasion of the God's Eye, which would expand our lands greatly. But he's got too many men. 24,000. We've only got 10,000. So we wouldn't stand much of a chance in winning that, which is annoying. But at least with him being old gods, we can going to try and claim that if we wanted to that's quite frustrating because that's made the rock a lot lot stronger than it was before which is very annoying Ooh, we've got to watch out for that i'm going to try calling my uh diplomat back and then send him out again because it's taking so long for him to try and get that claim hopefully it'll work I said, everyone's converting to the Faith of the Seven, but then people are getting very upset about it. I'm not even forcing them to do it. They're doing this their self. Nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me at all. We're making a lot of money, which is good. Which is always a positive. At least we are making money. A small kitty is demanding your attention. Pat the kitter. Allow the kitten to follow you home. Kick the kitter. Uh, no, we will pat the kitter. Treating people nicely feels good. I've gained the kind trait. Okay, it's a decent trait to have. Okay, Rosby are going to war with somebody who... Uh, defending against Lord Aemon of Thornhill in war against tyranny of Prince Ferret the Just. Okay. A son was born to Rasputin Nicholas. Okay, so there you go. You've now had your son, as you were asking. And what is he like? Emerson Nicholas. He is sickler, so that's a worry. Hopefully he doesn't 
die. We want all the uh, custom houses to carry on their line, obviously. Right, so what's this war that Rosby is involved in? Defending against Lord Emmond of Thornhill. Okay, so who is on which side of this war? We'll leave them to it and see what happens. So it looks like we may end up having a new Lord of Rosbear, which would be interesting. So Greyheart is going against the tyranny of his High Lord. Interesting. I'll have to see what happens there. My wife Elena tells me she is pregnant, but that can't be right, can it? Oh, not again. Doubt besets me. For fuck's sake. That's the second child, so who's going to be... Oh. Deary me. I have fought it over and I cannot be the father of my wife Elena's baby as it grows in her belly. I have trouble sleeping. I must put this matter to rest. Hire someone to find out. For fuck's sake. Alright, watch it be a son again. So both our sons are questionable on whether they're actually ours or not. Uh, I wish to formally invite you to my court for a period of festivities. Queen of Wayfarer's Rest. Uh, I must decline. I don't really want to come all the way up to the Riverlands. My prisoner, Sir Willard, is complaining about his dark self. Sir Willard, let's have a look. Can we ransom you? Have you got... Oh, no, ransom. No, you've not got the money to ransom. Uh, we'll let him rot for now. And we will... Can't ransom. How much gold does he have? None at all, fuck's sake. Um, the maid I hired to gain my wife Elena's confidence has not found anything at all suspicious about her pregnancy. That's a relief. I must know I will confront her directly. Hire more spies. Let's hire some more spies for now, rather than upsetting her. My friend Albert has invited me to a grand ban banquet. Uh, lots of people, lots of food. Good, yeah, we'll go down to Lord Albert's lands. Lord Tyros, your wife has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many tasks in aid of the Grand Lands. It will be seen as the right and honourable cause to reward him with certain incomes and grants as to foster greater loyalty. Um, no, not land. I will send him some gold. That will make him happy. He's already got land, hasn't he? I'm sure he already has land. And we don't really have any land to actually give away at the moment other than the dusk lands but i want to give that to house darkling the spider hires at great expense to discover anything suspicious about my wife elena and her pregnancy have failed to turn up anything at all i guess the child must be mine then okay or is it who knows there is a mod that you guys sent me i need i forgot to install it before this episode though so that we could check if there is a Anything fishy going on there. Your Grace, I humbly ask you to intervene on my behalf against the aggression of Lord Eamon Greyheart. I will order... Hmm, what do I care? Okay, we'll try. Your Grace, I will of course obey your will and end the war as commanded. Please take this as a sign of continued loyalty. Thank you, Sir Eamon. Well, at least it puts that down for now. We have arrived at Languid Hall where Albert has greeted as warmly to his feast. Bread, salt and cider have been served as is the guest right and the most delicious aromas are coming from the kitchen. I needed to change Languid Hall and I forgot. And I forgot what name you wanted, Albert. I do apologise. You'll have to remind me. You know I forget a lot. How long is it going to take to get this claim? I want to expand. So annoying that we can't declare war on uh, the Stormlands anymore. Lord John of the Lagoon, the Lord of the Lagoon, seeks to replace Lord Jorman and become Regent. No, we're happy with our Regent as it is for now. Are you old gods? No. It occurred to me that my wife is feeling somewhat gloomy as of late. The burden of her unborn child is surely causing some hormonal imbalance that is affecting her mood. I will buy her something nice. Why not? So yes, we've got plenty of money. Why not? All of these are Andor, which is annoying. So we can't invade any of the River Lords other than Blackwood. But Blackwood's really far away. Then obviously the North is way, way, way too far away. Max Pendragon brought a favour from Vargano, whoever that is. I'm not sure who that is in the slightest. Still can't declare war on you, which is very frustrating. I just want to get those last few bits of land. How long is this going to take? It's come to my attention that the Justifer of Tumbleton, Lord Cormand of Tumbleton, had bribed, it, bribed and threatened his way through my domain, trying to get enough people to recognise a claim on my title that he has fabricated for his liege, Lord Garth of Tumbleton. They better not use it. Garth Orm has decided to go ahead and use the claim on my title, despite having nothing more than a laughable, obviously fabricated document to back it up. Right, so he has a strong claim on the Lordship of Grandpa and the Lordship of Leewood Keep and the Castle of Camelot. So you need to watch out for this guy as well by the looks of it, Max. You can't declare war on him, which is annoying. It's turning colder and the people of the Great Fork can no longer work the fields. Well, we're just waiting to get that claim. It's turning colder and colder. The people of the Dustlands can no longer work the fields. 
Okay, what's going on here? Have we got a bit of a revolt around the God's Eye? Against the Lannisters, hopefully. No, it doesn't look like they... Right, what's going on? Uh, defending against Septon Donald of the Faith in... Faith of the Seven Uprising. And that's it. Then just hostile towards a couple of Iron Men. So what's going on in the God's Eye? Have they just been split because they're not getting involved in the war? Or Let's have a look. What can we do? And just an invasion of the rock. Very frustrating that we can't do anything at the moment. Getting really annoyed about it. Your grace since I rode in Grandport, there has never been a shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops stationed there. Under our guidance, they believe fame and fortune awaits them. Thank you, Lord Dickon. Have a couple more custom characters who have been suggested for this series. Now I'm going to wait until I've got a group of them and then bring them all in together. I don't want to bring any in just yet because, as it already is, we don't have much land at all do we so we'll wait a little bit right and someone's born to king stitch of the grandlands and queen elenary of the grandlands named egon uh okay he's been born with gonorrhea lovely that's a lovely trait to be born with isn't it um we'll name you robert robert grand there we go gonorrhea prince duncan okay free intrigue now so we should probably uh should have gone with an intrigue focus for you when you get old enough. We'll leave it for now. We should probably get you a guardian, though. Let's assign a guardian who's good at intrigue. Who have we got? Tyrus, Lord of Brindlewood. Yes, we'll send you to him. Hopefully, he'll be a good guardian for you. At least our lands are prospering and our army's going up while we are waiting. So, that's one good thing, I suppose. At least our armies will get stronger while we wait. Did the Stormlands win their war? No, they're still defending. Uh, oh, no, it's a peasant revolt that they're now fighting in. Interesting. It's turning colder and colder. The people of Grandport can no longer work the fields. Yep, yeah, winter's coming for us all. I'm just going to forward things along a little bit. A son was born to Sir Baldrick Oakenshield and Barbara Wade, Laris Oakenshield. Okay, nothing too special about him just yet, so we won't pick... Uh, any guardians or anything like that for him just yet. I've had a good friend in Lord Viserys and it saddens my heart that he thinks we no longer have anything in common and the differences between us is too great an obstacle to get over. I no longer see you as a friend, Lord Viserys told me. I will miss you. If you don't want me as your friend, then you are my rival. Uh, we'll just say I will miss you for now. We don't want any rivals. That's the last thing we want. We don't want people trying to kill us or anything like that. Demence is too big. Why? What have we just inherited? We must have just inherited something. The city of Bellhead. Why? What's happened in a... Okay, well, we'll grant you the city of Bellhead, including lower titles. Ah, is it the new cities that have been built? We were constructing a few new cities. City of Sweet Harbour. That belongs to you. So we'll grant that to Viserys. City of Sweet Harbour. Send what other cities have been finished. The city of Falcon's Claw. So we'll obviously grant that to Lucian. Leave this play in while we do this. Uh, yep, grant landed title. City of, was it that one? Apatron. Yes, it was. And city of, what was that one? City of White Sword Tower is, oh, in Grandpa. Uh, we could give that to one of you guys who don't have any land yet, just to give you a little bit of land for now until we get you something a little bit better. Let's give that to... Who can we give that to? Who can we give that to? Let's give it to Rasputin for now. Grant landed title, Lord uh, City of White Sword Tower. So we have got quite a few here. We could revoke some of these off the lower lords who are in charge of them for now. Lordship of the Great Fort, Lordship of Grand... Yeah, we've got, still got a lot of lordships that we want to give away, but it's just waiting for now. Waiting until we have a bit more land before I give those high lordships away. Okay, so the war in the Rock has ended. Have they lost many men because of that 28th? No. Still got way too many men for us to be able to do anything against them with our 11th hours. Even with our superior commanders, we're not going to be able to do anything there at all. Winter's coming to an end already. Well, that didn't last long, did it? That was got to be the shortest winter I've ever seen. My le Yes, finally. My work in Chuttering Brook seems to have come to fruition. By bribing, cajoling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents, I've managed to fabricate a claim on the Lordship of Chuttering Brook. Yes, use it. Finally. 
Uh, no, we're leaving our commanders as they are. Right. We'll send our diplomat off to fabricate a claim on. Let's go for Rook's Rest. We need to finish collecting that land there. And then we'll obviously declare war on you. Truce Breaker. Hmm. When does the truce end? In three years. We may as well wait till the truce ends then and we'll just get a couple of claims on other things. At least we've finally got a claim on that. Oh, what's going on here? Is there any illness in Sow's Horn? Let's have a look. Epidemics. Yes, what's spreading? Uh, bloody flux. Well, that's not good. It's coming from the Riverland and spreading down into our land. So we need to watch out for that. Who are our two wards? Shame and Uno, who are developing quite nicely by the looks of it. Harmony's Keep, have you had a son? No, nope, just the one son still. Can we arrange a marriage for him? Well, a betrothal for him and anybody. Oh, no. We just died. You have a new heir. If your character dies now, you'll play as Prince Robert of the Grandlands. Your wisdom and mercy ledger, I've been appointed as your regent. Your father, King Stitch Grand, has died, and now it falls to you to decide whether to make a funeral a big special event or keep it a small and private one. We'll make it a big one to try and get some prestige and pieta. Who will you invite to the funeral? Just the grand family, all the court of grandpa, my vassals and court shall... Uh, no, just the people of our lands. Uh, King Stitch Grand has taken his last breath at the age 40. He died of gonorrhea. Just and true, Stitch was a knight of great virtue. May he, may he be forever held up as an example of chivalrous warrior of the seven. King Duncan, merely six years old of the realm, is left to, in the capable hands of the regent and council. Long live King Duncan, so be it. Right, so now we've got way too many demences that we need to give out. And we're going to have lost our claim. Yeah, we've lost our claim now on the bastard and chittering bro. Um, Right, Master at Arms. Uh, oh, God, everyone hates us. We'll go, we'll go back with Dickon, who was doing it before. Master of Laws, yep, you're still fabricating a claim up there, which is annoying because we want fucking... Right, train troops, please, in Grandport. We need a court physician. It's going to be Jack, obviously. He can just serve court. And a Septon. We'll just go with the best Septon out of the ones that are there. And can you perform charity in Grandport, please? Right. We need to give away some of these lands that we've got. We'll give away the Great Fork then to somebody in court for now. We'll give that to... Uh... God, everybody hates us. Like full on hates us. <laughs> um, who hasn't got land yet that we can give some land to? Let's have a little look. Who's been in our court for a long time and not had any land yet? Morgrain, do you not have land yet? No, you actually don't. Uh, you're just a courtier, so we'll grant you the landed title of Lordship of the Great Fork. Considering that we can't give it a Shara just yet. There we go. We'll just give it to you for now. That gets us under our dimensions. And we've also got What's the other one that we've got? Castle of Harmony's Keep. Right, we'll grant that to you. Hopefully that'll make you uh, like us a little bit more. Send. Do we have anything else? Lordship of Duskendale, Lordship of Grandport, and then the High Lordships as well. A claim on the Bramsfort that we can't really do anything with at the moment. We're probably going to have a lot of dangerous factions now. Dispose King Duncan, overthrow the monarchy of Grandport. Liege Loyalists. We still have some Liege Loyalists, even though they all completely hate us. And Lower Crown Authority. Right. This is not looking good. Okay, at least we're getting some decent... Well, it's not decent, but we're actually getting some traits now. We need a... Hmm, who should we... Let's assign a guardian. Who's got good learning? Jack. We'll go with... Let's go with Sir Jack as our guardian. Hopefully he'll get with his great learning. It'll make us a little bit better. Wow, we've just lost all our money as well. What happened to all our money? What the... Where did all the money go? That's very annoying. So we're not in a great position at the moment. At all. So we need to try and improve relations. But we've got no money to give away to improve relations. So it could be a devastating first few years for King Duncan. The invitations have been sent to the lords and ladies of the realm to come to the funeral. Which is time to, to prepare the feast and the funeral itself. The guests will arrive soon. Best get on with it. We'll spend lavishly. Hopefully that will get people on side a little bit more. So, yeah, we'll spend lavishly on food. One of your jailers is brought away from the cells and says your captive Sir Will was co covertly set free during the night by a small band of men. In their desperate escape from the castle, one of them was captured and after questioning revealed they were in the employ of Lord Chris Congrove. You bastard. 
But we could imprison Chris. We could actually imprison him and no one would care, but we don't really want to walk in. One of your jailers has brought word from the cells. He says your captive Sir Willard was cut. Yep. Um, question revealed they were in the employ of Lady Kyra. Who's Lady Kyra? Oh, Chris's wife. You complete arseholes. Right. We need to make an alliance with one of the powerful vassals. Okay, what have we got here? Uh, may live in harmony and contentment. We propose that Prince Rogar of the Ghost Hills and Dowager Queen Elena of the Grandlands should get betrothed. Uh, decline. You're too far away. As a meeting, your Regency Council, Lord John Hydra's position on the council was put under question. Your bannerman, Lord Lucian Mendelton, called a vote to have him removed. A vote which passed. Lord John has been fired as a result. I'm okay, so we don't actually get a say in any of this. So we've now got an open council position for a high admiral. We'll go with... Well, if we can't have... I wanted one of the islanders, really. Um... Who could we go with? I'm not really sure. Who could, where's Squid? Or well, we could go with Seamus, actually. Yeah, he's on an island, so we'll go with him. I want one of the islanders as our High Admiral. At the, as the feast begins, Lord Brynden Blower, pre, uh, Blood Oak presented a petition before the court. He says that the crime and banditry in Greensward is an increasing threat, and the local sheriffs cannot uh, contain the problem. He petitions that you send men and coin to eradicate the menace plague in the area. Fine, I'll send Dickon to deal with the problems. Hopefully he sorts it out. At the, as the feast begins, Lord Robert presents a position for the court. He says crime and banditry in Wolfsguard is an increasing threat. Wow, hasn't, hasn't we already had problems up in Wolfsguard a few times? The scale of the banditry and crime in Greenswood was too much for Dickon to handle. Despite being granted many men and much gold, he could not capture the most prominent and cunning of the bandits and rogues. In one armed confrontation, Dickon and his men came off much worse. But he's not become wounded. Okay, just sure. At least they tried. Dickon organised a group of men to tackle the bandits and rogues in Wolfsguard. He successfully captured and killed many prominent criminals and publicly hammed them as an example to the others. The problem has now been stamped out. Lord Robert is sa satisfied. Right, we've got like no money. We need to arrange a betrothal for King Duncan. But I'm not sure who would be the best option. Who are our most powerful vassals? Draco Squid is one of our most powerful. Brune, apparently. I wouldn't have thought that. M Lucian, who doesn't like us, but we want to keep Lucian on side because he's like our best commander. And I think he does have a daughter. Oh, but she is imprisoned. Oh, she's in seclusion. Right, we're six, our king. So four. Okay, she's got decent deployment. He's had three daughters now, I've just noticed. Poor Sod can't get a son. Can't even buy a son. Right, let's arrange a betrothal between us and his second daughter hopefully that'll improve relationships there and then we will arrange let's try and arrange for travels for our other daughters to try well or other not daughters or other siblings so that we can try and uh get some better relationships around the kingdom so you're two who else is apparently a powerful vassal well draco was wasn't he so does he have a son no, he's still not married. He's refusing to get married for some reason. Can we arrange a marriage with him, with somebody in our court, just so that he gets married? This girl. Yes, there we go. Get him married so he can hopefully have an heir. What about Lord John? He has two daughters, one five and one seven. So too old, really, for our son. Seamus doesn't have enough men, so... Uh, you were trying to turn against us in Harmony's Keep. Who else is a powerful vassal? What about Max? Do you have any... You have two daughters and a son. Nakados Pendragon. Uh, Eoa Pendragon. She has new Mnemonic. Oh, the new... Oh, God. And Clubfooted. Um, what about Uno? They are of the old gods, but... There we go. She's zero years old. Let's arrange a betrothal between her and our, our brother... Robert, as he's actually not that old, is he's the same age as you? So there we go. We'll try and get you on side, and da, 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 da. we've still got our two sisters to try and marry off. So who has a son? Who has a son for us? What about House Duskin? Yes, you do have a son. He's only one though. How old is our sister? Princess Rosalind is two. So yeah, that'll do. So Duskin. 
Walder Duskin, the heir of the who what will be the Dustlands, will arrange a betrothal between him and no, not us, uh, between him and Ros Roslin. Send, and then our oh, sister. Wow, she's very impressive. So I may marry her, so she doesn't lose her family name. We'll leave her for now because she could be quite a good person to have around. Williman spoke up and told everyone how great the food at my feast was. I was really glad someone was kind enough to say something nice about the food, given given how hard I worked to ensure the food was the best part of the feast. Awesome. Hopefully this will carry on in, uh, improving people's opinion of us. May you live in harmony and contentment. I have decided to accept your suggestion of a betrothal between King Duncan and Urena. Perfect. Thank you, Lucian. Can we, like, get a non-aggression pact between us then, maybe? keep you on side that will get us one hopefully anyway uh, I accept the betrothal between Princess Rosalind and Walder perfect blessing upon you my liege I have decided to accept the suggestion of betrothal between Prince Robert and uh, Selwa Uno and Draco has accepted it as well the funeral as the silent sisters finished the preparations of the deceased the body of King Stitch is brought to the local sept and laid atop the altar at its centre Canopic jars of ornate design are placed at the feet of the dead and the eldest child places the death stones upon the closed eyes of the deceased. One by one, those closest to the departed in life make their way into the sept and speak their goodbyes. Shed their mournful tears and pray to the seven for the dead. As the day winds down and the last goodbye is said, the body is carried by kin along the crown lined streets to its final resting place. As the sun fades away, a great feast is held and those who knew the dead recount stories of the life and deeds of the lost. I think I'm going to forward things along a few years after this episode so that we can get to when stuff is actually happening. But we'll end this episode here for now, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, I hope you have enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully the next episode will be a bit more interesting if we skip a few years, get get Duncan aged up a little bit and get our lands prospering a little bit more get a bit of money get some claims and try and expand the grand lands when Duncan obviously comes of age because we've got a long way to go with the regent set which is going to be very boring with no money no power no men because as we said everybody doesn't like us very much so yes hopefully next time will be better thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you very soon